Hello and welcome to another DIY terrain video. So our gaming group decided to put together a small scenario that involved a Dwarven King fleeing to safety within the city of Thraz. The scenario rules are simple. We nominated a Dwarven model that had to be placed four turns worth of movement away from the city's gate. If he reached the gate by turn four, he can knock at the gate to end the scenario with his safe retreat. If no one answered his knock, the game would continue on for another turn. The deployment had the defenders holding the middle of the board, while the attackers came in from the left and right corners of the board opposite of the city Thraz. The defenders' first turn was a devastating volley of ranged attacks that managed to take out two cavalry units. They also put some damage into two large hordes on the board. The attackers replied with a volley of their own artillery and managed to take out a single dwarf unit, not nearly as effective as the first turn for the defenders. The second turn for the defenders offered another volley of ranged attacks taking out two additional units, disrupting the attacking lines. The second turn for the attackers saw the first round of melee combat, resulting in lots of damage spread across many dwarven and ogre units. They also managed to take a single dwarven unit off the board. Turn 3 for the defenders was a major counter charge, taking an abyssal dwarf horde out. The king was nearly to the gate by this point and had made it there untouched. Turn 3 for the attackers ended with the first broken units near an objective. You can kind of see this on the bottom of the screen. It felt like the scenario had finally taken a turn at this point and we were making some progress. Turn 4 for the defenders was not as effective as it may appear. The ogres pulled off a major flank on the last remaining orc horde, but it did not land as hard as it should have. A few units had taken position to defend the king at the gate by this point. Turn 4 for the attackers resulted in the destruction of some additional ogres. You may have noticed there is a giant on the board and probably are wondering why it hasn't been mentioned until now. Well, the sum total of damage the giant put out at this point was 2 points of damage. Yes, just 2. At the end of turn 4, the king knocked and no one answered. Turn 5 for the defenders went well. They were finally able to finish off the remaining ogre horde and managed to keep the abyssal dwarves at bay on the right flank. In addition to that, the ogre chariots were able to fend off the last orc cavalry. Turn 5, the attackers were able to capture two of the three objectives and destroy the remaining units that were contesting them. The game ended on turn 5 when the king knocked for reinforcements. Since the attackers held the lesser two objectives, while the defenders only held one, the game came down to a tiebreaker, resulting in a win for the attackers based on units killed. All in all, it was a great scenario and a great way to send off version 1 of Kings of War. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to click subscribe and thank you for watching.